What's up, fast foodies? This is Parker, as always, back with yet another review. Now, if you couldn't tell by the thumbnail, the title, or by this plasma TV screen, I don't even know what this is, <laughs> but we are at my local Sonic. Why are we at my local Sonic? Well, I just finished a workout, and I need some carbs in me, and I saw that Sonic just launched a new Mocha Crunch Blast, and because we're all about that health, Broccoli Cheddar Tots. Luckily, there was a Sonic, I think literally four minutes away from my gym, so I, uh, right after I finished my workout, headed over and this is where we are. First up, we gotta get our veggies in, so let's start off with the Broccoli Cheddar Tots. This is what the tot looks like. I want to see more fast food reviews of the newest and the latest in the fast food game. Definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button if you enjoy this video, if it brings a little brightness to your life, I'd appreciate a thumbs up down below. Let's see how this tot tastes like. Well, first, oh wow. There seems to be almost a whole crown of broccoli in there. Not too much cheddar, to be honest, though. I don't see any cheddar. These are solid. Nice, crispy on the outside, fried well. <laughs> and on the inside, you definitely get quite a bit of broccoli. I think my mom would be proud of me for eating this. I'm definitely getting in my daily serving of veggies with this, but I'm not getting any cheddar, to be honest. Now, I'm a little disappointed because even though my mom would be proud of me for getting in my broccoli, someone's ordering over there. But as I was saying, I was really looking forward to that cheddar, and yeah, I'm not getting much. I'm gonna give the broccoli cheddar tots 6.5, ah, I'll give it a seven out of 10, just because of that health factor. But now it's time for some dessert. Mocha Crunch Blast. I have mixed feelings about this. Why? Well, because you guys all know I love my crunch, especially in my peanut butter and in my Sonic Blast. However, I'm not the biggest coffee fan. I do like mocha. My sister and my dad, however, they are coffee fiends. If this has a solid mocha flavor, I think they would really enjoy it. But of course, there's only one way to find out if it has a mocha flavor. That's to test it. Now I am mixing this up and I actually watched the one and only endorsement review this. And what he said was, that there was not any of those crunchy chocolate bits mixed in. And I'm having that same experience, which I'm a little disappointed about, because as I mentioned, I was really looking forward to that crunch. And I'm not getting too much of that fudge either. I mean, here's an inside look. There doesn't seem to be any fudge inside. I'm not sure if the fudge is supposed to be mixed in. As I was a little worried about, I'm having a very similar experience to the endorsement experience. All the flavors in here are a little weak, which I'm surprised about. My past experience with the Sonic Blast have been pretty solid. They've always come through, whether it be the peanut butter ones, or I think they have like a banana or Reese's one as well, an Oreo one. They've always had tons, loads of that flavor. This mocha one, this really isn't doing it for me. Slight chocolate flavor, slight mocha flavor. It's actually crunchier than I thought, to be honest. Those chocolate bits really did mix in, but that's honestly the highlight of it. And it's not too strong of a highlight. I'm gonna give this a 7.5 out of 10. Dad, Jackie, I think you guys can pass on this. There are much better mocha coffee ice creams out there. I actually just reviewed the new Ben & Jerry's cold brew coffee flavor. If you want to see what I thought of that, I'll put a car up in one of these corners. There you guys go. Hope you enjoyed this fast food review of some new items from Sonic. And as I mentioned, if you want to see more fast food reviews, I'd truly appreciate if you smash that subscribe button. And until next time, yeah, I guess you could skip on your Sonic. Bonus footage. I actually got some mozzarella sticks as a side. Let's see if I can get a cheese pull. Not bad. 
thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you want to hear more, check out Fast Foodies Podcast on Apple Podcasts and Spotify.